about this Four paper. Quarter. That means I'll talk in stops. Okay, so go ahead and put your name on the top of this and the period. This is something you're going to be keeping for at least a, a month, so 30 days. So if you need to write at the top of this, hang on to this, or don't lose this, mm -hmm. because you will need it for the duration of October. Because here's the thing, if you get to like halfway through and you lose all that data, you will not be happy. You'll probably have to recopy it on your own paper and you won't be very happy. Anyways, okay. So starting today, I know some of you already took readings like for two days last week, but we're just not going to worry about it. Just kind of to keep it simple, um, we're going to basically do all of October. That's what we're going to be graphing. Um, let's take a look at this paper. So you can see on the front it has uh, columns. You have date and time. So um, you guys will always be in here. You guys will always be in here at this time, so around 7.50, uh, 7.55, and that's when we'll post up here what the um, temperature is, uh, what it looks like outside, like today, it's mostly cloudy, and then the next, so you'll put that in the weather conditions, the air pressure for outside, that will also be listed up there, so for today, it's 29 inches, and then um, as soon as you guys get in here, um, you know, before even we're taking attendance, you go over and you get your reading on your classroom barometer. And that's what the last column is, the classroom uh, barometer reading. Now, don't go crazy if it's, you know, sometimes the same every day. It's going to be like that, depending on how the weather is. So that's okay. Obviously, our barometers that we've made are not as technical as an actual barometer, but um, you should be estimating as close as you can be in between your centimeters. Mm -hmm close as you can identify. Right. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and, and if you notice, it's on the back side, so for 30 days, you're gonna be filling all of this up. All right, let's go to the graphs. Now, this is front and back, so you're gonna be making two graphs. So, you can see I kind of modeled it for you, okay, already labeled and everything, pretty much. Um, so you are just going to be, you know, copying this onto your paper, and that's what we're going to be working on today. Um, so you want it this way because along the bottom there's more than 30, um, but you want to be labeling down here the lines that are coming down, not the spaces, but the lines, because that's where you're going to be plotting your points. I know that you guys have been working in math right now, correct, on plotting points. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's kind of the same thing that we're doing here. So along the bottom down here we're going to have, you're just going to put date and then you're just going to start with today's date 10 uh, slash 1. Probably if you do that it'll be, um, it'll be you know, easy to put on the bottom. You'll have enough space. And then on the vertical right here you're going to start right, try to find a, a spot that's in the middle where it has a 29, you're going to put 29 because that's kind of like the average of what we're seeing and then it'll go up and down from there. And you're going to um, increase, so you're gonna go up a tenth, and then you're gonna go down a tenth. So every little um, line that you have, you're going to be labeling that as, as a tenth. Is everybody clear about that? So it'll go uh, 29.1, 29.2, 29.3, 29.4, 29.5, 29.6, Okay, and so on up here in the same thing this way. So what would it be underneath 20, um, 29, Natalie? Negative 29. Not negative. We're going down. This, it's not zero right now. So it's zero for your homemade one, but not the actual one. Right. Go ahead. Um, 28.9. 28 28.9. Okay, so that would be your next one. And then 28.8, 28.7. And so on. So it's going to go down from there. So this is this would be your outside air pressure one. So make sure that it's clearly labeled at the top that this is the outside uh, air pressure, and then it doesn't matter which one you use. And then the other one is going to be labeled as classroom barometer. Okay, over here you're starting in the middle with zero, just like you did when you were labeling the cardboard pieces. 
So then we're going to go up here. We're going to increase and decrease by 0.5 from zero. So the first slash is going to be what? What's it going to be? Point, 0.5. Then it'll go to 1. And then 1.5, 2, 2.5, and so on. On your classroom barometer, you will go into the negatives because the first one below zero will be negative 0.5. <coughs> right. So then that's coming down here. So negative point, um, 0 0.05, negative 1, and negative 1.5. Yes. Okay. And so on. Right. And the same thing across the bottom here. Um, the lines will be labeled. Is the date. So you got to be neat. Don't just scribble it on there. Yeah. You want to make sure that this is nice and neat. You're spending a lot of time. You're going to be dealing with this paper every single day. And we want to make sure that it's legible. So this will be your bell ringer, just like we used to take pictures of the bread and make observations about that. Now we're going to be moving on to taking, making our observations and doing our <coughs> things with our barometers and the actual air pressure. Okay. Is there any questions about what you so first thing you're going to do right now is on the chart, you're going to be putting in the date. You can put the time as like 7, or just go ahead and put 8 o'clock, just to round it off. Okay, and then you're going to put, what's next on there, the weather conditions, 58, mostly cloudy. Then you're going to put um, where the air pressure is, you're going to put 29 inches, and make sure this is labeled every single time. And then the last part, um, you're going to put the, your classroom barometer reading from your jar. So we're just going to disregard the other ones that we already had on the other paper. You'll still need to keep that paper for when we do go, go through and analyze and analyze the data. So that's something you need to keep along with. 